Hi guys, it's me Mia, welcome back to welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a piercing video. I'm going to be changing my conch piercing jewellery for the first time. I've had my conch pierced since June of 2022. It's now January of 2023, so I've had about like seven months, so it's healed nicely. I did have a problem at some point with there being a bump, but I got rid of it now, it's completely fine, it's healed really nicely. I haven't made my piercing experience video yet, I don't know if it'll be out before this one, but it will be coming, I just need to film it, I've got all the, like, the information and footage I need. But I'm going to change it because, as you can tell, I'm very like dolled up, I look like a little pageant girl. I'm going to be doing like a little photo shoot and it's going to be galaxy thing because I've got a galaxy projector. It really inspired me, but I've got a star earring here on my lower helix if you can see and then I've got this moon jewellery like this it's right here and I feel like that would look really nice in my conch and just really go with the theme I don't know I got all my jewellery that's in my ears besides my industrial bar from the same pack it was like £15 um, I got it on Amazon so I'll link it down below for you I really like it it is externally threaded which means the back screws onto the jewellery rather than like the top of the jewellery screwing in if that makes sense. So I'll insert pictures and hopefully you'll understand a bit better. I have got actually a star and moon internally threaded jewellery but I think it's a bit small. Although these ones are quite like clunky to be fair. But it is a lot more fiddly to put in and stuff. This is a lot better quality. I don't know. I just want it to be easy to change the first time I'm changing it. I actually have a little horror story from when I got my conch pierce, so I'll explain that in my conch piercing experience video, but it was not great, but it's alright. I've actually got a few piercing videos to catch up with. I need to do my nipple experience piercing video, but if my eyelashes are applied really badly, I'm very sorry. I haven't worn eyelashes for a very long time. This is the second time I've worn them for four or five years. The last time I wore them were May last year. So if it looks bad, I apologize. Also, I look a bit eggy because I wanted my hair back so I could get to my ear. And if my roots look really light, it's because I've got two bright white lights shining on my head and I had a hair dyeing disaster, but it's gonna look a lot worse on camera. I feel like I just rambled a lot during then, but it's all right. So I've got a solution. It's 50-50 water and fine sea salt it's like all dissolved and it's just sterilizing it real quick the water was really hot it should be cooling down a bit it's like a cute little mug my mum painted it years ago so as you can tell the jewelry that it got pierced with is just this long standard flat back silver bar i'll try i'll try and show you the best i can without my hair getting in the way but that's that the ball screws onto the bar if that makes sense rather than the back screwing off um it has fallen off a couple times so it's going to be easy to get off yeah it's really really long i'm excited to see how the moon looks hopefully it looks okay i'm not sure but i'll take it out now i'll get a little cotton pad to put them on so they're not just on my gammy desk i do my makeup so i've got a q-tip in that salt solution water and i guess we'll just get started taking it out it's already screwing off super easy so i'll just screw the front ball off there we go and then this is what we're dealing with i guess i'll just pop it out <gasps> dun 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 that is the damage that is an example of externally threaded jewelry i'll hold it with tweezers so you can see how long the bar kind of is so my fat fingers aren't in the way so this is what was in my ear and then this is what we're gonna try and put in my ear if everything doesn't go horribly wrong <laughs> okay so i got some of that solution on this q-tip and i'm just gonna clean it real quick it literally doesn't feel sore or anything there's like a tiny bit of crust that came off feels completely fine my hands are clean by the way so is that I did want a hoop in it originally, but I haven't bought the jewellery yet and I think I'm gonna wait till a year to put a hoop in because obviously hoops are a nightmare. I feel like a lot of people go into like nose piercing stuff and stuff, for example, wanting a hoop straight off. Don't do it, it will keloid 
and it will just not be cute. I know a lot of people that switch their nose piercings out straight away, especially if you get it done with guns. I know that is still done in a lot of places. Don't do that, it will not, like it will not heal nicely. I know a lot of people that got their nose pierced with guns multiple times and the healing process was a nightmare and I got my nose piercings done like a year ago. Almost, I got them in February last year and it was such an easy healing process and I was so like surprised by that. Anyways, here's one final look at the jewellery before it goes in my ear. Hopefully it looks alright, if not, whatever. But I'll just slide it in. There we go. Oh, that's quite big. It's quite snug in my ear though. Does it look weird? I think it might be a bit big. It might look better with another star. I'm not feeling it. Luckily the kit comes with two of each earring. So I've got another star. I might do another star. Ah! Oh, it just looks a bit, uh, mm. Let's try the star. I'll quickly just rinse it around a little bit. I lost the backing for this one, so I'm gonna use this one's backing for that. It doesn't look bad, I just feel like it needs to be a tad bit smaller. I have got another moon earring. It's, it's internally threaded, but it's a lot smaller. And it's a bit difficult to put in and out. So I think I'm just gonna stick with the other star to make life a bit easier until I'm a bit more comfortable changing it. So I'll just pop that out. It didn't hurt or anything though, it just kind of slid right in. I just needed to find where the hole was. So here we go again. Oh, there we go, that one went right in. Does that look better? I feel like that looks a little bit better. I'm not used to there being something there. I don't know if the jewellery is just too big, whether to try my other jewellery. Hmm. I'll put the back on this, and I'll see if I can find the other jewellery, feel about with it, and see what I'd feel most comfortable with. Right, time to get the back on. This is quite close to like the side of my head, so it's going to be a bit difficult to put this back on. The back to this is just like this little disc. I don't know how else to explain it. Oh no, to be fair, I think it's quite cute. It's focusing on McLovin and not on me. This back is being pain. Ugh! My ears gone red. It's not painful though. I literally haven't felt anything. This entire process. Hey, there we go. Make sure it's all nice and tight. And there you have it. I don't know. Is it giving? Is it not giving? I'm not sure. I don't know. Should I take my hair down and see? Well, I think I'm gonna have it up for my shoot. Okay, that's like not helpful in the slightest because it just covers my ears. Right, it's really inside my ear. I don't know how well you can like see it. It's okay. It's not the piercing I don't like it, it's just this particular type of jewellery. I don't know if it's too thick and chunky to be put in there. I've got smaller pieces which might look better off, but let me know what you think down below. But yeah, that was me changing my conch piercing for the first time. If you're interested in my piercing videos, then please subscribe or follow my Instagram. I've got a whole body modification little highlight on there if you want to hear about any of my body modifications. So piercings, tattoos, any of that type of stuff. As soon as it happens, that's where you'll find out about it first. If you've got any questions, then you can message me on Instagram or in the comments here. I try to check my Instagram requests as much as possible and reply to as many as possible. But that is that. Pain was not there. Putting the back on was a little bit difficult, but besides that, it was really all right. I feel like that was really uneventful. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice evening, day, afternoon, whatever time of day it is, have a nice one. And I will see you soon with a brand new video. Bye.